great to have a show before Christmas, but uh, what I'm really excited about is having a, a seven-fight deal in place. That's, you know, like I said, to have that going on here in the West Country, it's not up in London, it's not up in Manchester, it's not up in the big places where you expect to see these things. So for Keith and myself to be able to get this going down here in Swindon and having a seven-fight deal over 12 months, that's what I'm really excited about. Talk to us a, a little more about that, you know, the venues and, and the kind of bills that you and Keith are going to be putting together. Well, we're going to be putting on in the Oasis, which is a, a good 1,200 seater venue. So we're going to put on four there this year. And we're going to put on three or four in a smaller venue as well that holds 600 people. But it's, it's ideal to be able to have... Eamon is going to be the headline on the show in March, defending his IBF Intercontinental title. So to have two world rank guys fighting... On, on the first big show of the year it was fantastic and then to be able to keep these guys busy there's nothing that a fighter is is always best when he's kept busy and for these guys going into their second years as pros to know that they have seven fights ahead of them this year that's exceptional and it hasn't come easy it's, it's been hard work a lot of negotiations behind the scenes but you know now you've got it this is something that can, can run and run for a, a few years now can't it oh yeah this is just I mean we've we signed off on it there half an hour ago um, so it's done and dusted. That's why I'm gripping the paperwork in my hand, man, so I don't lose it. Um, but what you know, we all have work to do now. We've signed off on it, but this is just the beginning. So Keith has delivered what he said. Uh, now it's down to the boys to to understand that they just can't sit and wait for the shows and have to show up. They got to get out there and promote themselves. And we'll be doing a lot of that over the year to build their profiles and that. And then the fight's keeping busy and, and improving in the ring. But they've also got to improve their profile and that outside the ring. And then next December, the plan is that we all sit down and we're happy with what we've done and we go again. Do you think these shows are going to sell out quite easily? Not easily. We've got work to do. But our last three shows together have sold out. So there's no reason to think that we can't do keep on doing it. And that's the reason that me and Keith decided to do seven together. You know, we, we agreed one at a time. And then the first one was last February, uh, where Eamon headlined. That sold out. And then we did another one. That sold out. And then we just did the last one in October. So and then we decided, OK, let's, let's make a commitment for seven fights. Couldn't be more excited, man. And, but, you know, it will take a lot of effort and a lot of work to keep, to keep doing what we're doing. But the last three shows must have sold out because we've been producing good shows. People are coming back. So... I can't see a problem, so long as we all put our best foot forward, I can't see a problem with continue to do that. Yeah, Swindon is buzzing. It's buzzing, it's buzzing, man. It's bumping, it's buzzing, it's shaking and baking, it's doing everything. We're in a great place. Just think about it. You've got London that stands out. You've got Manchester that stands out. Liverpool that stands out. We're a tiny town with 220,000 people. And boxing is something that people are talking about every day down here now. It won't be long... Maybe at the end of this year, we'll start getting some TV down here. Because TV will come if the audiences are there. We've proved over the last three fights, three shows, that the audience is there. If we can prove that now over the next seven, no reason to see why we won't. And a lot of credit has to go to Keith for, for what he's done over the years. I think for professional boxing in the town, for actually building professional boxing, I think all the credit has to go to him. Because in the last six years, he has been relentless at it. You know, um, I've been relentless with with my gym with the pros the amateurs have always done excellent here with Walcott and the other gyms but Keith is the one who got professional boxing going in the town when it was asleep for the last 25-30 years and he's got it going and it's hard to do that with no TV and, and anyone that's involved in boxing and been involved in promotions know how hard it is so yeah I tip my hat to him I'm delighted that we're able to work together I'm delighted we were able to make sense of each other and get a 7 fight deal and yeah I tip my hat to him, yeah.